Hey there, crew. Check this out. The client was waiting for us with some free candy. Check it out. We're going to get some of this candy. Did I get a shot of that? Look at that. Oh. How old? How long has this candy been sitting here? It's rotted out. Ah, oh, mother... Hey there crew, welcome back. Today's episode, we are standing in Richwood, New Jersey for a complete house remodel. They gutted this house completely and we were hired to come in and just run some wires. So in today's episode, it's gonna be about roughing it in with some wiring. So let's take a look. I'm standing between the living room and the dining room. For the living room, we're gonna be installing, in the future when the walls are ready, we're gonna be installing a Samsung frame TV. But today, we're just gonna run the fiber cable that talks between the one connect box and the frame TV itself. Over here, this is our way that we're running some of the wires from the basement. You notice we got some wires already running up. We drill a one three quarter hole in that uh, double dot cut plate. We're gonna be drilling another one three quarter holes right here on that joist. And the guys already drilled up some of these joists and ran some wire across. In the dining room, we're gonna be installing a TV on this wall completely flush to the wall. So we have all our wires here ready to go. And um, we also are missing a cable right here. We're gonna be installing an access point, which is for Wi-Fi. So we're gonna need a new line coming in right across over here. The guys are gonna run that. Let's go to the second floor and show you what we're doing over there. Standing here in the second floor, this is a master suite. There's gonna be some mill work right here on this wall. And we're gonna have a TV that's gonna be installed here in the future. So we have our electrical tail already here. And then the guys are actually gonna be running a Cat6 and a coax cable from the basement all the way up next to the fireplace. And then coming right over here. So right over here, Gus already pre-drilled the uh, one inch hole that he's gonna be coming in with some wires from the basement. From the uh, basement, it's gonna cut through the fireplace next to it and then come up through the subfloor and then up here into the second level. From here, we're gonna tie up the cables into this uh, beam. And then the cables are gonna come in right over here on this opposite side of the wall because in the closet, all the equipment is gonna hide in there. All right, crew, so we set up a table over here with all our tools. We got a couple of drills, we got some uh, drill bits, we got a hammer. Um, and then uh, this is the uh, fiber cable that we're gonna be running to the uh, frame TV uh, that's gonna go on the fireplace. Uh, so this is from Samsung and it's a 50 foot extension. And the reason why we're having a 50 foot cable, that's because the equipment is not going to sit here next to the fireplace. It's going to sit in the basement. So whenever you buy a frame TV from Samsung, out of the box, you're only going to get a 15-foot cable. That's not going to be long enough. So they sell separately a 50-foot cable, which is your fiber. Now, inside of this cable, it's the fiber that's going to be communicating from one connect box to the frame TV on the fireplace. All right, so I'm going to hand over this cable to the guys, and they're going to run this cable to the fireplace. <laughs> Okay, you ready? I'm gonna send you the fiber. There's the fiber. Go ahead and grab it. Okay, there's that fiber going down to the basement. Here's the fiber cable waiting at the fireplace. All right, so here's the fiber cable in the basement. Right there is our new lines that we're running through the fireplace so we can go to the second floor. And the equipment is gonna rest right over here in the future. Here are the boxes set up that we're running. So we're running a CAT6 white cable and also we are running RG6 quad coax cabling for the cable boxes. All right, crew. This is team member Justin who's working on that CAT6 cabling that's gonna be coming here between the kitchen and the dining room where we're gonna install an access point right here between these two lights. So it looks all nice and pretty. Okay, so he's setting that up between the two lights. So when we come back and the walls are done, we'll install the access point right there. 
And then we're using a uh, T25 stapler with the 9 16th uh, uh, staples. And uh, it's quite safe for the cable if you properly know how to use it. Don't squeeze too hard. Otherwise, you're actually choking the cable and damaging it on the inside. All right, crew, Justin is back in the basement. And let's see, he's gonna send the next cable. Go ahead, send that. Get that, he's gonna, oh, there it is, cable's coming. Ah, Gus got it, all right, good. We got another data line that's gonna be coming up to the fireplace. So he's gonna run that up right along all our cables that we ran here, cross the two double top plates here and then cross the uh, joist that's right over here and get to the fireplace and then leave the tail right there with the fire place. All right, crew, we are in the second floor, master bedroom to be exact, and here we go. Eh, ah, there it is. Team member Gus was downstairs, sending up to team member Justin the cables that we need up in the master bedroom closet that we're gonna hide inside where the equipment is gonna live right there. So you see, we got the coax and the Cat6 cabling coming up into a low voltage metal wall plate. We're gonna tail that inside of the uh, closet, waiting for us when all this wall is complete and sheet rocked for us to come back to install the TV. Okay, crew, we are now up in the attic and we've decided to go the extra mile. So this customer actually has great network instead of depending on the Wi-Fi, They have an office up here in the third floor. So team member Justin is coming up with a way to bring a line up here since this is a finished space. So, yeah, let's see it over here. Okay, giving you real-time video of the job being done. So we're gonna pull the rug, and then from here, we're gonna drill down right in the corner right over there, and then we're gonna bring a line from the master bedroom ceiling, which is open. <laughs> Hello! Hey, <Hi>, guys. <laughs> hey, crew, that was team member Gus. He was actually downstairs receiving the pre-drilling the hole. They actually came up with a better way. Instead of coming across the uh, ceiling of the master bedroom, which is already all insulated, where we have to take it all down and then pre-drill holes, run across. The guys actually came up with a better way on uh, the uh, east side of the wall. Justin already pre-drilled his 3 8 hole in the office so we can run that data wire to the computers. We uh, drill another hole over here between these two top plates. We're gonna use this bay between these two studs. We also drilled another 3 8 hole on this sill and then another 3 8 hole on this bottom plate which you just saw a second ago, Gus down at the ladder uh, saying hello to you guys. So let's go ahead and run that cable. Okay, Gus is waiting for that cable. Let's see if team member Justin is going to send us that. Hey! Send us that cable! Let's see. Oh, there it is. All right, he's got that cable. Good. All right. So now he's just gonna pull on that. We need to get that cable through that window sill, through the top plates, and then up into the third floor. So let's get that cable up there. Okay, now I'm up in the office in the attic. Let's see if that cable comes through. Oh, there you go, come on, okay. All right, let's see if we get that cable through the hole that we made over here in the corner. All right, wait, I think I hear it, I feel it. Let's see, it's coming right here. Oh, look at my fingers, Jesus Christ. I need a manicure. All right. Hey, fellas. Hey, crew. I think I'm in need of a manicure, so please subscribe. All right. Tell people to subscribe, share, so we can start making, you know, some funds here on YouTube. And maybe I can afford some cosmetics. All right. Here we go. Get that cable. There it is. We got our cable. There it is. Coming right through. And let's clean this up. Hey there crew, check that out. We're done up here in the third floor office space and the attic. We ran the future data line in case the uh, client wants to be hardwired over here in their desk. And uh, so we cleaned up uh, behind back there and uh, so the termites don't have some fun. Uh, we placed the uh, carpet right back in underneath the floor molding. Uh, so all that is left to do is to push back this desk right here and get that back there and uh, we're done up here. So let's go check on the guys. Okay, so I put the desk back. There's our cable waiting for the future. And let's go downstairs. All right, crew, looks like we're done over here in the master suite. Okay, so the guys put the insulation back the way we ran that cable from the basement through the first floor, through the second floor, up to the attic. So we put the insulation back. 
And over here in the master bedroom, the guys are done running all the wires that we need. Check it out over here. This is facing in the inside closet of the master bedroom. Uh, in here we have a tail of a coax and two datas. One data will be for the TV, so they can uh, hardwire the television for uh, fast internet. We also have an additional data, which is going to be for a Wi-Fi antenna that we're going to install up here. And then if you notice, check that out. All the wires are neatly tucked. Tie it in and tied. Nice and clean. All right, let's go check on the boys downstairs. And we're back into the living room area. We're putting the finishing touches to this job. We're almost done for the day. So let's check over here. Here's the fireplace. So we got the fiber cable for the Samsung Frame TV. An additional data line just in case for the future, in case the client changes TV. We also have a receptacle outlet that's going to be uh, installed into the uh, metal framing that's going to go above here on this, what used to be the mantle. And check that out over here. We got all our cables ran and tucked. We got a team member Justin below that he's making the final touches and tying all that cable. Check that out. We got it going all around the stud. All we do is two double top plates on here. Then coming across this choice. And then we come across over here on the stud bay. And then from here, that's how we go to the second floor up there. We got the fiber running across over here on this other stud. I'm sorry, on this other joist here. And then coming down into the fireplace right here waiting for the frame TV. Hey ho media crew, this is Justin. I'm showing you a quick time lapse of me and Gus uh, tucking away and running these wires where they have to go for the future equipment. And you know, we're just gonna tuck them away and clean them up, make sure they're all tied together so that once we finally work with these cables, it's a lot more manageable and it's not, you know, as not convenient to work with them. So uh, I'm gonna leave you this time lapse and then I'm gonna switch it back to my dad to finish up this video. All right, crew, it's the end of the day for us here at this site. Uh, third floor office space, we ran a data line so we can hardwire a computer up there. Second floor master bedroom, we ran two jacks. One's gonna be for a uh, hardwiring a TV for internet. The other one's gonna be for a Wi-Fi antenna. Then the coax cable will be for the cable box. Uh, over here behind me in the uh, dining room, we ran some uh, data line and coax for the TV that's gonna go over here in this wall that used to be a window. They cover that up. Right above me here next to uh, videographer team member Justin, we have a tail of a uh, data cable for the antenna that's gonna do Wi-Fi in this space. Uh, over here in the living room, we already wired up the fireplace with the data uh, cable and also the fiber line for the frame TV from Samsung. Over here next to the fireplace, we tied up and cleaned up all our wires over here. And I wanted to point out over here real quick in this corner, don't worry, I know that this cable is actually stepping out of the wall a little bit. Not to worry about it, they're gonna frame this out over here. And then when they uh, install the uh, sheet rug and also the uh, floor molding, the wires actually will be pushed back a little bit and protected, they're not, it's gonna be protected. So don't worry about it, it's not, nothing's gonna happen there. Um, all right, so then we get to come back, I don't know when, maybe two months when this site is ready for us. We gotta install three TVs, two wireless antennas, jack up a computer. And um, I think the, this will be the end. So uh, make sure you uh, follow us. Share, like, and subscribe. Uh, drop a comment. Tell us what you see in the future. And uh, we'll see you on the next Home Media Bliss video.